killing and everywhere even sometimes out of love also they scream i will kill you i will kill you <laughs> among children i heard that but i used to sometimes satcho gidre punya in satcho biko satcho gina satcho otherwise life is kasiri agala that means you bloody die otherwise your life will never be good how will somebody die and then life will be very good then i continue to tell them die means you kill you die you kill your borrowed knowledge <laughs> dirt inside i am telling not you die but the the thing which is inside which is borrowed knowledge which is disturbing you should die <laughs> when once when you when you understand that one then you don't have to say cleanliness next to godliness because you wake up before you start you have to check around 22 different items <laughs> and the vehicle hardly will break down and it was a truth also the vehicle you can check it up your body too this is the 63rd story from the zen flesh zen bones written by paul rips killing Gazin instructed his adherents one day those who speak against killing and who desire to spare the life lives of all conscious beings are right it is good to protect even animals and insects but what about those persons who kill time what about those who are destroying wealth and those who destroy political economy we should not overlook them furthermore what of the one who preaches without enlightenment he is killing buddhism <laughs> those who speak against killing those who decide to spare the life of all conscious being yes consciousness is very very important because when swami vivekananda kept on telling many people are walking like dead bodies and they are dying every second they are not knowing that is the biggest disease much powerful than corona or other diseases cancer you call it by varieties of names which you have created to your dictionary language all those diseases are because you were living in unconscious state unconscious statements you have not taken care of the wealth which is given to you by the nature by your parents the wealth of your body powerful that you forgot to dig deeper to find the gold just a bit deeper and you find only gold and nothing else you forget to dip you get scared to dig yourself and you don't have to dig that deep because you yourself is deep your name is deep please try to think about it the moment you dig you find only gold yes wealth intelligence power everything including in that one digging but when you allow another person to dig for you you become unconscious that unconscious state is your death and suppose if that another person digs for you and he sees the gold and of course he sees the gold and he will not share it and when he doesn't share it with you you call him a robber nowadays even the other person who is digging also doesn't know that it is gold because he is also unconscious two unconscious people the ruler and the people both are unconscious hence there is suffering it is good to protect even animals and insects 
But what about those persons who kill time? What about those who are destroying wealth and those who destroy political economy? It is good to even save the insects, means you talk to the insects, to the animals, to the bush. You don't need any language. They call the word gibberish, but you can just go and talk. And the plants and the animals and even the nature, yes, even the sunlight, they can understand your language because the sound, the way your sound goes up and down, they know you are talking something very good. I had the black cock and another one fancy cock and one hubli cock. All the cocks fighting among each other. And then my fancy cock, his nails got damaged. So he couldn't fight. Because the moment he fight, blood keeps coming. So the, all the three black cocks and the hubli cocks started attacking him so much. Every time when people catch and put them in the cage to save the fancy. So I saw them fighting. And I caught hold of the black, one black, I caught hold of him and I kissed him, massaged his beak and said, no, 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 you're such a good boy. No, 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 no. And I left him. This I did it two or three times and I kept on telling the fancy and I kept on telling even the hubli also. Whenever they go inside the cage, I catch them and kiss them and say, no, 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 especially the fighting time. Even the turkey female was attacking the fancy. I caught all of the turkey female and massaged the beak, gave her two, three kick, uh, kiss and told her, no, 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 don't hit fancy, fancy is also my lover, you are also my lover and left it. From last one week, they were not attacking fancy at all. <laughs> fancy, first time fancy cock was able to move around with them, they can understand the language. But what about those persons who kill time? What about those who are destroying wealth and those who destroy pollution? Killing time means you are unconscious on your mobile, on your TV. You are unconscious on going to the factory when you are working. You are unconscious. You are not a karma yogi. Otherwise, by the time you finish before your retirement, you have built up 10 companies because you are so conscious about the company. You are going unconscious, so you are living in fear and you are asking them for 50 rupees increase for a strike. You are com be be being competitive among your people to get promotions. No, Karma Yuga is not competition. <laughs> Karma Yuga is passionately in love that you become, make you conscious, yes. And then you know you are not killing the time. What about those people, persons who kill time? What about those who are destroying wealth? When you have done it in your factories and other places, you come back home, you see your children, of course, have to follow you. They started reading, but they are not able to understand. They go to the classrooms, they, they, dist they dist disturb the teachers, and others, yes, they forget the teacher is God. They forgot. Suddenly they decided the teacher is a competitor. Suddenly you found the leader whom you voted is your enemy because you are not loving. You are always trying to find fault. Yes, you are not conscious. Together you work with him and clean up that area and discuss strategies. Yes. Majority of the parents, I see them hitting them on the head, hitting them, but none of them call them to discuss. I am an example. I turned back to look into my St. Joseph's college, school and I found none of the teachers ever called me even one time to discuss to find out why fight breaks out between me and other boys. Instead, they're just catching me. The more they started beating, the more fight in the class. Before I was fighting only one once a day, then it becomes two times. Afterwards, when they started beating me almost, they beating so, beating me so much, the fight started almost every one period I have a fight. If I don't fight, I start, started thinking something went wrong with me. <laughs> 
What about those who destroy wealth and those who destroy political economy? A political economy is the natural economy, the wealth of the rainwater. If you don't collect, you are a killer. You should be killed when you do not jump and dance and play in the rain and collect the rainwater, which is ozone water, which has been used to cleanse the blood and to remove most of the diseases like cancer. Well, then those who destroy political economy, political economy is the sun. And this, if you don't collect the sunlight in and convert into solar and you have light everywhere, you are to be killed, you are killing. You go begging the political leaders for 200 units of light free. No, no, no. There is no mathematics in that collection of Surya. Total area, 365, 300 days of beautiful sunlight. Nowhere in the world you get it. What more you wanted and still you are paying electricity bill. That is where you started the first killing. We should not overlook them. Furthermore, what of, what of the one who preaches without enlightenment? He is killing Buddhism. Yes. Preaching without enlightenment means without consciousness. Teachers in the schools, professors, lecturers, they are all teaching. But they do not know what is business and they are teaching business administration. They, do not, they have not even constructed one building, but they are the civil engineers, lecturers, professors. Yes. Can you believe? This is the kind of a situation which is created to make a country live in poverty and grab your parents' money, whatever they made to give to engineering college and medical college and to other things. Furthermore, what of the one who preaches with our enlightenment, the church fathers, the temple priests, Swamiji's, Babaji's, Mataji's, Sri Sri Sri's, all those people. Otherwise, can you believe cancer is a thing they say flowing water is fresh water, stagnant water stinks. When the body is not flowing, you ask Dean Ornish, what is the causes of heart attack? Please don't give me lectures from the Bible or Quran or Bhagavad Gita. Just tell me in one line and uh, Dean Ornish said, sitting in one place for more than an hour is the cause of the disease, cause of your death, cause of the heart attack. Can you believe? And people like Ramana Maharshi and uh, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, can you see? They are sitting non-stop from morning till evening. They got cancer, massive cancer, yes. Because they have never proved a physical power. You see, their spirituality, they are not interested. No, no, no. When you are in the materialistic world, you have to put yin and the yang, positive and negative, only can create electricity. Physically, you have such a beautiful body, then you can talk about the internal beautiful body. If that is not the correct, then why should the nature have such beautiful forest, such beautiful flowers? Everything is beautiful, nature is created. So why can't you make your body so beautiful?